Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about Carbide 3D's Bitsetter Probe. I'm not gonna to talk too much about the installation. Carbide has set up a great instructions online and they have a video up there as well. I'll just touch a little bit on it. Make sure you mount the probe at least four and a half inches off the side of your machine. Use the top two holes to mount it to the rail. This will put the probe in the lowest possible setting. This is the position that I prefer to use. It'll sit just shy of three quarters of an inch above your three quarter inch wasteboard. That way, if you're cutting three quarter inch stock, they're almost even and you don't hit it with your dust boot and break something. Don't forget to go into Carbide Motion and update all your settings and put a check in the box next to the bait setter probe. Also, make sure you update the XY position of the probe. These options aren't available on the older versions of the software. You'll have to download one of the later versions. Let's go ahead and get started and cut something. Load your file and initialize the machine as you always would. After it initializes, it'll come to the front, ready for the tool change. Go ahead and remove your dust boot and load your tool. In this case, I already have my 1 8th end mill already in the machine. After you load the tool, hit OK and it will automatically start the probing cycle. It'll move over to the probe, then starts to take its measurements. When it's finished, it'll move back to the center position if this is your initial tool, you'll want to still do your touch probe to get your X, Y, and Z axis. If this is just a tool change, you can go ahead and put your dust boot back on and get ready to go. We're going to jog the machine over and get it right over our touch probe so we can do our X, Y, Z probing with our 1 8 end mill. Don't forget to put the clip on the email before you start the probing. Trust me when I say good things don't happen. The machine will come down and touch the top of the probe to set the Z. Then it'll continue to check the X and the Y. Then it'll come back to the top to the current X, Y position. Then remove your clip and your probe. Put your dust boot back on, then run your file. It'll instruct you to start the spindle. Once you turn it on, hit OK, and you're off. Once that pass is done, hit the load new tool button and it will bring the machine back to the front and you can put in your next bit. Hit OK and it will head over to the bit setter to set your Z depth for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now put your dust boot on and start your next pass. Change tool and repeat. I would say the bit setter is a success. Way easier than checking your Z height every time you change a tool. <laughs> 